Hey everybody, we're so glad to be with you this morning to be able to share a, a thought of encouragement with you. Uh, we're, we're doing our social distancing thing again. Um, so we've got uh, myself and Tom and Gordon and Melody. You guys say hi. Howdy. We're so glad to, to see their faces, but also um, we're, we're encouraged by thinking that uh, we can be with you th together this morning. Um, every Friday we're going to try to share something with you that just meant to encourage you or bring you some comfort and um, we don't claim to be the best, but we do claim to love you, each and every one of us do. And so we want to thank you for the ministry that you're doing and for uh, continuing to meet with your people and to continue uh, building community and making disciples. And so as we got together and talked a little bit together, we're kind of the executive team of the discipleship uh, group here at our church. And so when we talked, we wanted to share something with you with, that we thought might be um, beneficial. And so I was digging through scripture and I kept coming back to the thanksgiving that Paul lifts up at the beginning of 1 Corinthians, the first letter he wrote to the Corinthians, he says some pretty powerful words that I think each of us um, feel about you all. So I just want to share this with you. I'm going to read from chapter 1, verses uh, 3 through 9. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him you have been enriched in every way with all kinds of speech and with all knowledge. God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gifts as you eagerly wait for our Lord. He will also keep you firm to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Um, God is faithful. And I think uh, for me, it's been amazing to see how faithful he's been in working through his people, you all, uh, the people that I've seen. And so the four of us kind of wanted to share some glory sightings, some way we've seen God moving and working um, to encourage you. And you may have some of your own, so it might be awesome if we could start a, an email chain kind of between us, sharing some of the cool things you're seeing, seeing God do maybe in your groups or maybe just in your own life. So uh, I'll go first. I know that um, I've noticed a lot of places, but uh, the two that I wanted to lift up to you was first some things that I've seen, seen going on with some of my men's groups that I was leading, my Thursday morning group, and then specifically my men's team. Uh, my Thursday morning group started an email chain a, about a week and a half ago that was just meant to be prayer requests at first. But what's been awesome has been how guys have said, you know, I woke up and opened up my Bible and I read this scripture and this is what it means to me and I, and I hope it, it's a blessing to you. And everybody, like guys who hadn't read their Bible before ever to guys who've been, you know, deep in the word for years are sharing and, and growing and being devotional with one another, lifting each other up in prayer. Um, and I had nothing to do with that. It was so cool. I, I just asked them to share prayer requests. That's a total Holy Spirit thing. So it was very awesome to see. Now, I think the other thing, um, and I, this, I'm not meaning this to come off like a humble brag, but I just uh, it, it take me out of the equation. But the way the staff has come together to help create this online community um, from scratch, I mean, literally in a week. When you think about this for us, just a, a very short time ago, we were meeting in person. And now we have a flourishing online community because um, we decided we, we wouldn't take no for an answer, that, that we wouldn't keep, um, that, that we wouldn't take the, the ability for us to connect in community away from you. And so, you know, I looked at our analytics, we've got like 1,200 people a day coming to our live stream content and people watching our Bible studies and connecting and sharing. The, um, and you think about the way that's gone all over social media, not just us, but all the churches, we're, we're filling the world with the gospel. And that's been really cool to see. Uh, I know that the quarantine stinks and I hate this virus. <laughs> I, I hate uh, being stuck at home. Uh, I hate not being able to see your faces, but um, God's using this for his kingdom. And it's been really cool to see. So, uh, Gordon, why don't you share a few words, uh, thoughts of uh, glory sightings that you've seen recently? Thank you, Drew. Um, so, yeah, so my group met on Monday. Uh, we met through a Zoom chat, and it worked out really well. Uh, we got a chance to uh, uh, connect with each other. We got a chance to uh, pray for each other. Um, the format was a little different. It worked a little different. It didn't quite go as long as we would usually go, but that's okay uh, because we really connected and we were able to get connected and get uh, uh, get caught up with each other. We hadn't met in a couple weeks and we kind of missed each other at that point. So I, I had heard about some of the things that Drew was experiencing because uh, some of the men's team members were on my team and they had expressed how that was impacting them as well. So I know that... Um, these opportunities that we've been using and, and uh, doing are ways that have still connected people. And I would encourage you as you're connecting with your group to figure out ways that work for your group. 
Um, some people, it might be a phone call. Some people, it might be a Zoom meeting. There's all sorts of different ways in which you can do that. So feel free to uh, try some different things and see what works for you. Um, and then we'll, let's, uh, Melody, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're seeing? Sure, I would love to. Um, as many of you know, I've had the privilege of working with you to get these Zoom calls going and get your small groups um, back face to face, that kind of stuff. And I, it's been such a blessing just to see all the smiling faces and see everyone so happy to connect um, and just to kind of get back together again, even though it's in a different form, we're still able to, to be face to face for a minute. So um, I've been able to be a part of some of yours, but also uh, my small group has been meeting via Zoom. Um, and like Gordon said, it's just nice to see each other and connect and pray with each other. Um, so if there's anything that we can do to keep that connection going, to help support you to keep that connection going, don't hesitate to ask us. Um, Zoom hopefully is working for you. Maybe you need a little bit more support in that area and we're glad to provide that. Um, but if it's not working, we are not, like Drew said, we're not taking no for an answer. Like we want to provide whatever we can so that you guys can stay connected. Um, just keep checking on each other, keep praying for each other, um, and remember that we are all here if you need us to pray for you or if there's any kind of support or anything like that that we can do, we're happy to do that. So I think Tom is going to share with us now for a little bit before we close. Yes, I would be glad to. Thanks, Mel. Um, I think, and I think everyone has mentioned it, is the, the important uh, thing is, is to meet, meet somehow. Make, make the attempt to reach out to your group um, and uh, stay connected. And Zoom is a great way to do that. Thanks for this uh, opportunity, uh, Drew and, and Mel and, and Gordon, uh, for us to do this. Uh, my team uh, tried to do uh, a group uh, Zoom on Monday, and we had a couple of people there, and uh, we are a little technically challenged, but uh, we did have a meeting, and we're going to attempt to do that again this week. Um, there is a, a member of our team, Ken Brown, who uh, is really ill. He's at UC Medical Center right now, and he's he's very weak. He had a, a major surgery and um, is, is uh, having trouble recovering from it. So uh, if you can uh, keep him in your thoughts and prayers, uh, that would be uh, really great, greatly appreciated. Um, I, I think Another thing that we all share in is that we all love Jesus and, and we all want to, uh, to, to do his work here in this, in this world. And this is a great opportunity to, to make new connections and to um, uh, for, fortify old connections. So please uh, use uh, this time to strengthen your relationships with each other and with God. And with that, I'd like to close us uh, by praying the Our Father. So if you can uh, be with me now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen.